In today's video, we're talking about the Swift Package Index. I'm gonna tell you what it is, show you how to use it, and explain why it's so useful. For some quick context though, let's talk about Swift Packages and Swift Package Manager for a second. So Swift Package Manager is Apple's first party dependency management, and then the Swift Packages are the dependencies. So think CocoaPods, Carthage, like that's how we used to do it. Well, Swift Package Manager, like I said, is Apple's first party way of doing this that's now built right into Xcode. So uh, I believe a lot of developers are going to adopt Swift Package Manager as like the way to do it, and CocoaPods and Carthage will slowly get phased out over time. That's just my belief. But I say that's going to take some time because, you know, not all those old CocoaPod dependencies are updated yet for Swift Package Manager. And to be honest with you, some may never get updated because they're no longer maintained. So that gives developers this choice right now while we're in this kind of transitionary period, right? Do you stick with your old CocoaPod that doesn't have an updated Swift package yet? Or do you try to find an alternative for that? Well, how do you find an alternative? That's where the Swift Package Index comes in. Like I said, it's a search engine to find Swift packages, but it's much more than that, and that's what we're gonna dive into. All right, so here we are at the Swift Package Index like home screen. As you can probably expect, it's a giant search bar to get you started. Actually, real quick, this project is open source, uh, built by Dave Verwer and Sven Schmidt. So Dave Verwer, you probably heard of him from iOS Dev Weekly. But like I mentioned, it is open source. So here's the repo. I'll link to this in the description so you can check out the code. It is built on server-side Swift and Vapor. So if you're curious what that code looks like, feel free to check it out. You can also contribute if you're up for that sort of thing. And this is a brand new project. I think it was just announced in June of 2020. So I expect the Swift package index to grow and evolve over time. Again, it is brand new. And while you're at it, if you want to follow the project on Twitter, here you go. There's the Twitter handle. All right, back to the uh, actual index. Like I said, just a giant search bar, but it does more, like I said. So let's say you want to, or you're in the market for a calendar dependency, right? You want to build that into your app. So you just type in calendar. And here you get a bunch of different options, right? JT, uh, Apple Calendar, Horizon Calendar, Calendar Kit. So these are all Swift packages that you can choose from. Now, here's the cool thing. When you click on it, you get a ton of information about that package without having to go like search for it yourself. Because when you're choosing a dependency, dependency is the key word there, right? Your, your code base, your project is depending on this code. So this code that you're bringing in, you wanna make sure that it is well-maintained. It's always gonna be up to date. You really wanna be leery of bringing in like a, a quote unquote dead project or, or something that's not maintained anymore because you know, Apple and Swift, like everything's constantly getting updated. So if the project's not maintained, you're, you're probably asking for a headache. So that's what Swift Package Index can help you out with. You know, you see how long has JT Apple Calendar been uh, in development? Four years, it's got a thousand commits, 60 releases. You can see how many open issues there are, how many open pull requests, how many stars it has. Here's the, here's the big thing for me, at least in my opinion, what I'm looking for. The latest stable release is you know release number whatever but released seven months ago last commit to master was about two months ago so you can see it's relatively well maintained let's go check out the uh, another calendar horizon calendar a new uh library from airbnb really like this one by the way check it out um but in development for 21 days i'm sure they're working on it longer than that but that's just how long the repo has been out but uh you can see the latest stable release released eight days ago so like i said you get a ton of very very important information to help you find a package that you're looking for very quickly and like i said help you make an informed educated decision on a good package to bring in and we'll do one more quick example just to show it off that was just a calendar uh you know you can type in uh chart and see all the charts, charts, Swift UI charts. Let's check that one out. Cool. In development for about a year. Uh, just the latest update was released five days ago. Very actively maintained. And then, of course, if you always want to go to the actual repo, there's the link right there. And then you can go to the actual repo uh, and check it out. So you can see these kind of charts uh, made in Swift UI. And then you can go back to the uh, Swift package. So anyway, the whole point of Swift Package Index, it's a great, nice place to find Swift packages. Because again, a lot of those old dependencies might not have updated to Swift packages yet, uh, and they may never because they're not maintained. So anyway, a great resource developed by Dave and Sven. Uh, really happy they did this. And like I said, it is open source. So if you have an idea on how to improve it, submit a pull request. All right, that wraps it up for today's video. We'll see you in the next one.